Now, let's look at this question. It says, in an election, there are only two candidates. The winner, now, if there are only two candidates, that means one is winner, one is loser. The winner gets 62% of the votes and wins by 84,000 votes. Find total number of votes polled. Right. Now, let's try to understand. In any case, if the total number of votes is 100, that means the winner must get 62% of 100. So, winner must get 62 votes. So, here we are taking total as the base. Why? Because the winner gets 62% of the total votes. Right? So, the loser must get 100 minus 62. That is 38 votes. So, I am assuming the total votes to be 100. That means the winner must get 62 out of 100. So, the loser must get 60, uh, 100 minus 62. That is 38 votes. Right? Now, what is the meaning of winning or losing? Right? If I say that one person has won elections by certain votes, what does it mean? The winning margin is the difference. Winning margin is the difference. You have to memorize this. Is equal to the difference of votes or difference of values, whatever situation it is. So, for example, in a cricket match, if a team scores, a team batting first, if it scores 300 runs, and the second team scores only 280. What does it mean? It means that the first team has won by 20 runs. How do you get that 20? 300 minus 280. Same goes in the elections also. If one person has, a winner has got 62 and the loser has got 38, then what is the winning margin? The winning margin from here is equal to 62 minus 38. 62 minus 38 is 24. So, now look at the situation here. If the total votes were 100, the winner would have got 62, loser would have got 38 and the winning margin would have been 24. That means the winner would have won the elections by 24 votes. Here the winner has won the elections by 84,000 votes. Right? So, I think now we can do the simple unitary method calculation that if this 24 is equivalent to 84,000, if this 24 is the winning margin which is actually 84,000, then how much will the total votes, that is 100, be? So, if this 24 is equivalent to 84,000, how much will this 100 be equivalent to? Right? So, because the question says very clearly that the winner has won the elections by 84,000. So, do this calculation, simple unitary method calculation, cross multiplication. It is, uh, if 24 is 84,000, then 100 will be 100 into 84,000 divided by 24. Do the simple calculation, 12 twos are is 24. And 12, 7 times is 84, right? So, 7,000. Now, 2 cancels 7,000 as 3,500. So, 100 into 3,500, that is 35,220. So, total number of votes polled is 3,50,000. This is the total number of votes. So, this is the answer of the question because the question is asking what is the total number of votes polled? Okay, so very carefully, we assume the total votes to be 100. Winner must get 62, loser must get 38. The difference of them is the winning margin, that is 24. In this case, the winning margin is given as, actual winning margin is given as 84. So, what we did was, we used unitary method calculation, that if this 24 is equivalent to 84,000, how much will 100 be equivalent? Alright, so this was a good question.